Hi guys, it's Bosa. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. And in this video, I'll be doing this wash and go in my mom's hair. This was actually day six hair. My mom ended up wearing this wash and go for about two weeks. To be very accurate, she wore it for 12 days. Anyway, so we began with freshly washed hair. Her hair was washed and thoroughly detangled. Personally, I think it is key to have your hair very detangled for a bomb wash and go. I come through the sections we also sort of put it into a path sort of because she didn't want the wash and go to be because she wanted her hair to lay that way and we didn't want to waste a lot of product i sort of used the spray in just this one section and to form the curls i used this honey curling custard i will this is what it looks like inside it's a little bit transparent and very lightweight Keep in mind that this custard also does not flake. It is the bombdiggity.com. I don't know if it would work for my hair texture, but I know it does work for my mom and she likes it. I highly recommend that you get it if you're anywhere between 4A and 4B. Um, I don't know if you foresee if it would work because I haven't tried it on me. Anyway, I was saying I didn't choose the BLM spray. I think it's in game as well. But I didn't choose it on the other sections because I noticed that the hair wasn't as curly as it usually is. So I only used it in that particular section and to all the hair between my hands, I did not repeat this section because I was trying to save up on product and it was in the back. I didn't think it would matter. Light has just come. We must never stop the way. Yeah. So just to give you guys a close up to form the curls, I pick um, a few strands of hair and twirl them between my fingers. For me, I think this is the best way. I don't usually do uh, the praying hands method. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know and I will get to it. But personally, I like to twirl the curls. I like to twirl the hair between my fingers to form the curls. And also, I have found that wash and goes for most people that I have done them for do turn out like the bombdiggity.com when their hair is soaking wet. Hence why I had a spray bottle on hand. And I just kept on doing this throughout the sections. Anyway, so when I was done, this is what my mom's hair looked like. It was pretty defined in this section and pretty frizzy in the one where I used the BLM spray. I kept on doing her hair throughout all the other sections. I'll take a piece, I'll take a little bit of hair and twirl it between my fingers. And yeah, I did that all throughout the head. So. So because I didn't want you guys to actually sit for two hours just to watch me do my mom's hair, I decided to do a time lapse. But keep in mind, detangling your hair is key to get defined curls. So when I was done, this is what my mom's hair looked like when it was still soaking wet. I did put a plastic bag beneath her pillows just to make sure that her hair didn't drip. But it was pretty defined and it looked good. It actually gets more definition when it dries. Um, this was, I think, day three. This was Tuesday and I did my mom's hair on a Sunday. This is what it looked like. Now keep in mind that my mom works out every morning from Monday to Friday. This was the end of the week. It was Saturday. We were preparing for VD and my mom was still wearing her hair in her wash and go. She actually ended up wearing it for 
12 days if you guys are interested in knowing how my mom maintains her wash and goes to last at least a week let me know and i will get her to film that with me and that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching do says I do recommend that you get the curling custard it's more like a gel but it's very lightweight it doesn't crunch and it won't leave your hair flaky see you in the next one